this Hurricane Michael is expected to go right up through the areas of the Gulf Coast, and it's expected to go through the northwestern coast of Florida, Alabama and Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. It's expected to go through all of those areas. This is a massive, massive storm, and it narrowly misses Tennessee. It gives quite a bit of rain, but it narrowly misses our state. The storm misses us and goes through multiple other states. So this is a definite, unprecedented storm. Now, ABC News said it is the most powerful hurricane to hit the U.S. mainland in over 50 years, while other news sources say 100 years. So, I don't know. I don't know which one it is. Either way, it's a and it's going right across our land, right through there, and they've shut down multiple oil rigs. They had to shut down the majority of the oil rigs. I think they said, uh, no, no, about 40%. I'm just seeing it on Fox Live. They said about 40% of the oil rigs were shut down. So, yeah, broken street signs, 90-foot pines bent at a 45-degree angle. They said we're catching, they said the we are catching some hell who rode out on the storm they rode out the storm with his wife second floor apartment in Panama City they said that they could see broken street signs falling and just and 90 foot pines bent at a 45 degree angle everything chaotic the meteorologic meteorological uh, brute storm sprang from a weekend tropical storm and they expected it to be maybe a category two or less and then boom category four. these people are dealing with a lot of damage and it's only expected to get worse with the storm continuing around people saying oh my goodness what are we seeing their mouth just hanging open in shock and awe and the satellite imagery they are in complete awe as the storm intensified <clears throat> we're in new territory the historical record going back to 1851 finds no category 4 storm ever hitting the Florida Panhandle. Since 1851, they've been keeping records, and they said we're, they said, uh, we're, we're in new territory. They've never seen a storm like this. I really fear for what things are going to look like there tomorrow at this time, they stated. The storm is likely to fire up the debate again over global warming and all of that and climate change as they they usually do with all of these storms and fires and floods and droughts and things and, and uh, just climate chaos taking place. I mean, there's obvious debate over these things, but power crews right now in Florida are getting ready to deal with the widespread power outages taking place. They've got, uh, they've got the uh, Energy Florida president on the phone right now on Fox News. You, if you tune into Fox News right now, you'll see they're doing live coverage of this. I'm watching it on Mob Drill on my Fire TV stick right now. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's unprecedented for the area. They said, we basically just walked away from everything and said goodbye to it. And now they're scared that they're going to lose everything they own because this is a massive, powerful 